All right, so we're joined by a Reggae Boys defender, Michael Hector. First of all, Michael, how does it feel to be back in camp with the lads? Yeah, no, it's, it's great to be back. Obviously, some new faces, uh, new shops, new staff. But uh, yeah, like the core of the group is still the same from when I last played. So yeah, it's good to be with the boys again and yeah, just to get going again. And from afar, though, have you been able to like keep up with the results or like stay up late, half two in the morning to watch a couple of games? Yeah, no, obviously, I watched uh, obviously the Gold Cup. Uh, I watched a couple of the games, like obviously the last uh, Nations League games, and uh, yeah, the boys obviously done done well in the Gold Cup, and obviously started off the, this campaign really well. So yeah, no, I'm looking forward to being a part of it again. And of course, Karoy is in camp, a player that you've played with at, at Charlton. What is he like, you know, playing with and also um, being with him, club and country now? Yeah, no, obviously I know how much it means to him to, to, to play for Jamaica and to be a part of the squad. So yeah, I'm obviously I'm delighted for him and his family. It's a proud moment as well for him and his family that he's a part of this national team to set up at such a young age as well. I've got to remember that. And uh, yeah, no, just just to see him develop on and off the pitch as, as a man as well is, is I'm happy for that and long may it continue. And for you personally, how much are you enjoying your football at Charlton now? Yeah, no, for me, obviously, I had a long break after Fulham. And, uh, a much needed one mentally, physically. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's good to be back playing now, football. Obviously, um, it's, the, the level of the, fo the, the football is not what I'm used to, but it's, it's, it's a good challenge. And, yeah, I'm, I'm loving at the minute to be back playing, obviously, in London, in my family's uh, space. So, yeah, it's good for me, and that is main objective is obviously the promotion with them this season and, and yeah, and to keep on from them. Yeah, and you you made, in terms of Jamaica's first match in the Nations League, you played in that game against K uh, the Cayman Islands on home soil. Do you remember that game and of course where we are right now in the Nations League today? Yeah, no, obviously that was the, the, the first uh, start of the Nations League and uh, yeah, it was a new, new tournament and uh, yeah, obviously now it's, it's come on leaps and bounds and it's developed a, a hell of a lot. and. Yeah, obviously at the minute, at the minute now it's just looking very strong, and the competition is 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 in a better way, a better setup than obviously before. And yeah, we're obviously we're now we're we're, we're close to obviously like the, um, the qualification for the copper, and that's an important step for the, for the country. And it's a massive tournament to be a part of. And you've met the gaffer and also the the rest of the coaching staff as well. I'm sure you're able to exchange ideas and get to know them a little bit better. Yeah, no, obviously like, the man just obviously sat down with me, I've had loads of phone calls, video calls with him, um, it's easy to talk to and um, yeah, he just told me what he, what he wants me to bring to the team and into, into the camp and to the squad and yeah, for me it's just my experience obviously playing in uh, big games for Jamaica and helping, obviously it's a young squad and helping uh, see the players through and yeah, just bringing my experience and yeah, and just basically letting the players know that I'm here for them if they need any help. Uh, yeah, I'm easy to talk to, easy approachable, so yeah. Yeah, so when you made your debut for Jamaica in 2015, you came in as one of the, the new faces in the squad, early 20s. Now, you know, it's you're like the big brother to a couple of these lads, you know, what is it like seeing the likes of Damari within the squad, Dexter and a couple of other players that have made their debuts recently? Yeah, no, for me, obviously, it's, 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 it feels a long time ago, but uh, yeah, no. It's good to see that the, the, the country is obviously developing young young talent and they're obviously getting their chance, which is good. Obviously, I had my chance when I was young as well, so I know how it feels to obviously make your debut at a young age and to have a, a bit of pressure as well because it's, 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 it's tough to play for Jamaica. It's, the, the fans are demanding, uh, the country is demanding uh, in sport, let alone just football. But yeah, it's, it's good to to be that older head in the group and to, yeah, to just pass my experience on certain things that might may be tough but on the outside it's, it's easy to, just to settle in, make them easy to settle in. Yeah. But would you say like in that era having the likes of, of Wes, Maps, Joby really helped you settle in to, yeah, to the national you know, team? Yeah. Rudy you know, as a massive Rudy. Old captain. Like he, I don't think people understand this, the, these type of players, the, the men, big experienced group. See where's Joby, Maps, obviously G, who's also my roommate, um, McCleary and yeah, there's a lot of players that helped me through. Obviously, a tough. Obviously, the, obviously the Gold Cup was was a, was experience. Obviously, the copper and stuff like that. And to have these people in your change room, Aka as well, massive help. Right. It was a it was a good group of players. Even like God or people like that that were in and out of the team. And the, it was a nice like it was a family. We had a good time off the pitch, good time on the pitch, and it was 
yeah, them type of people that obviously help get the team through a tough game. And that's what we're trying to obviously create now, create new uh, memories for the, for the country to get behind.